Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. I'm Cikgu Niswan. Okay students, this is our learning outcome for this video. Polyprotic acid, also known as polybasic acids, are able to donate more than one proton per acid molecule. Example, a diprotic acid is able to donate two protons. A tiprotic acid is able to donate three protons. A diprotic acid dissociates in stages, donating one proton in each stage. There is a corresponding acid dissociation constant, Ka, for each stage. A subscript number adjacent to the A in the symbol Ka refers to the stage. Each following species will be present in the solution at equilibrium. Here we have carbonic acid, which is diprotic acid. There are two stages for acid dissociation. You have learned that Ka value can be used to measure acid strength. Stronger acid will have greater Ka, smaller pKa. When Ka is large, the acid is largely dissociated. Notice that the value for Ka1, although small, is much greater than the value for Ka2. This means that although there will be few ionic species in the solution, most of the species in the solution will be due to the first dissociation equation. The second dissociation equation will contribute only very small numbers of species. The titration curve of polyprotic acid shows an equivalent point for the each protonation. Now, we have phosphoric acid, which is triprotic acid. We know that when Ka is large, means the acid is largely dissociated. Note that the preceding Ka's are always smaller than the previous. This makes sense in that the removal of the next H plus is from a negatively charged species. Students, flashback, concept of conjugate acid-base pair. Bear in mind that according to Bronsted-Lowry acid bases, acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors. Make sure you know to write the conjugate acid-base pairs. Acids on the left will have conjugate base on the right. Bases on the left will have conjugate acids on the right. Let's try answer this question. You should understand it involves dissociation of ethane dioic acid, which is diprotic acid. Means there are two stages of dissociations according to the follows equations. So Ka1 is larger than Ka2. Write the conjugate acid base pairs where acids will be on the left and conjugate base on the right. Hence, the hydrogen ethane dioic ion is a weaker acid than ethane dioic acid. Therefore, ethane dioic ion is the strongest conjugate base. That's all for today, students. See you in the next section. Bye!